the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello. Gamer Nom is back. So for this video, we are going to continue helping this gnome reach 3rd C. Again, this is a part 2, so if you haven't watched part 1, I will put the link in the description. Or you can also check the upper right side of this screen. And before we start grinding, you can show your support by using star code Gamer Gnome when buying your Robux. So guys, are you ready? Okay, at level 700, we are going to start defeating the Raider. So this is the first time that I'm gonna grind here. On our previous videos, we skipped this, right? We went back to the Galley Pirates. But now guys, I think Venom is so strong. So guys, you're gonna use your Serpent's Wrath to lure them. Guys, check this damage. The damage of Serpent's Wrath is so high. After that, you just need to jump, use your Exit skill, there you go, and your Z skill. And that's enough to burst them. See that, guys? So you just need to go to the other side to defeat four more to finish one quest. Again, Serpent's Wrath, Noxious Shot, and Poison Dagger, and that's it. Okay? So the goal level here is to reach level 725. Go, and after that, we will proceed to our next quest, which is the Mercenary. Again, mercenaries, you can start defeating them at level 725. You need to defeat 8. Okay? So this mob is easier to defeat. If you compare it to the raiders, again, use your Serpent's Wrath to lure 3. Go. Check this damage, guys. Just Serpent's Wrath. And then you can now use your Noxious Shot and your Poison Dagger. Just in case you need it. But I think you don't need it. There you go. That's enough. Go to the other side again. Lure 3, there you go, Noxious Shot, Poison Dagger, and that's enough. Okay, well, you can also use your Toxic Fog if you want, there you go. Last 2, for a sure level up. So guys, our goal here is to reach level 775. But at 750, you can start defeating Diamond. To level up faster guys, he's located here. There you go. So here you can like uh, enjoy your fruit by transforming etc. I don't usually transform but just to show you the damage of the Noxious Shot here is so high as well as the Serpent's Wrath that you will really have an easy time defeating mini bosses. There you go, we're done with it. Next goal is to start defeating the Swan Pirates at 775. Okay, new quest giver is located here. There you go. Okay, against one pirates at 775. Well, there are uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. Okay, 6 here. So you need to defeat 8. So first, lure them using your Surf Serpent's Wrath. There you go. Guys, with just this skill, check the HP. They're almost dead. So use your Toxic Fog or other skills to wipe them out. You need to def you're gonna defeat 6 here and then wait for them to spawn. Defeat 2. To level up guys listen you're gonna level up here until you reach level 900 okay again level 900 to make things easier you can start defeating jeremy a mini boss at 850 he is located here you remember why 900 we're gonna skip two quests two mob quests because aside from they're far apart those mobs are harder to defeat comparing it to swan pirates so we will be saving more time if you focus on those mobs and guys every time diamond spawns you can go back and defeat him okay so now we're done with this again goal is level 900 once you reach level 900 stat check first melee 500 defense 566 blast fruit 16 and one more tip if you want to travel Make sure to get damage because the lower the HP, the Serpent's Wrath is faster. So next target island is the green zone. So we're gonna start with the Marine Captains. As usually if you're using Logia, these mobs are kinda tough because they have hockey, right? I'm so impressed with the Serpent's Wrath because you can use it you can use this skill to lure, right? As well as damage them. More than half of the HP of these mobs is gone. Check that out. Just one skill. Just by luring them, and then you can use your Noxious Shot, Poison Dagger to burst them. Or just use Serpent's Wrath. See that? It's enough. 
Is this fruit OP? Hmm, I think it really depends on who's using it. Okay, so the goal here is to reach level 950. But at 925, you can start defeating the mini boss in this island. Fajita, Fajita, or Fujitora. There you go. It's easy to defeat, to be honest. Just every time he casts his skill, the meteor start dodging. Don't be like me. I got hit. Check the damage. But there you go. Okay. But let's not forget about this boss, Jeremy. It also gives a decent amount of experience. There you go. Again, when you reach level 950, you can start grinding in this island, the graveyard island. We're gonna farm the zombies here. We're gonna skip the vampires. Let's just focus on the zombies. Why? Two things. They're so near to each other, they spawn really really fast, and they're easy to defeat. So you need to lure four at a time, defeat them twice to finish one quest, or if you want, you're just like me, I defeated six at a time. <laughs> okay, so the goal level here is to reach level 1000. 1000, when you reach that, we're going to another island. Okay, don't forget to get damage for faster flight. Okay, let's go. So our next target island is the Snow Mountains. We're gonna start here with the Snow Trooper. Again, we're gonna skip the other quest. Let's focus here. Goal is to reach level 1100. So it's easy guys, just lure 4. There you go, use your Serpent's Wrath again. Use your Noxious Shot, Poison Dagger if needed. There you go. Guys, we're gonna level up here again until we reach level 1,100, right? But, but, if you think that the next set of mobs in the hot and cold island is kinda slow and hard to defeat, just stay there with the snow troopers, okay? I'm talking about the lab subordinates. You can lure three or two at a time. There are five, so you need to defeat five, right? Check the damage from the serpent's wrath. Defeat five, wait for... A three to spawn again and defeat them okay so again if you want snow troopers go for it so the goal here is to reach level 1175 but at 1150 you can start defeating the smoke admiral so he's located here there you go and he is easy to defeat just use your serpents wrath again and again check the damage guys more than one fourth almost half hp left just by using Serpent's Wrath. There you go, defeat him. And at 1,175, just outside this area, you can get the Magma Ninja quest. So there are six Magma Ninjas in this area. You need to defeat eight, right? So defeat three. There you go. After that, go to the other side, defeat three again, and wait for two to spawn to finish one quest. The goal level here is to reach level 1250. And let's end that grinding part by defeating Smoker using the awakened form of this Venom. Oh, the awakened, sorry. Transformation only. Not awakened. Again, transformation. The Noxious Shot here is so strong, the damage of this skill. You can even one hit other players using this. As long as you hit. Okay, as long as you hit. Okay, there you go. So after this, we are going to another island, new island, just near the graveyard island. Here you go, go to this boat. Go. Next island or next area is the cursed ship. So this area is kind of dark, spooky, but we can manage to level up here with the ship that can. So we're gonna defeat eight, two sets. First four, use your serpent's wrath to lure them and damage them. There you go. After that, guys, make sure to lure four, okay? Use your noxious shot, your poison dagger, and to finish things off, you can use your toxic fog. There you go. Okay, do this twice to level up. The goal here is to reach level 1300. And after that, you can move to the next mob. What's the name of that mob? I kind of forgot. Wait, we're gonna see it here in this quest giver. There you go, the ship stewards. This is one of the best areas to level up. Why? All of the mobs, all five of them is in one area. So you're just gonna use your Serpent's Wrath to lure them or you can use your Toxic Fog. Sometimes I kinda miss the enemies here. Oh, 
there you go okay just lure them sometimes these mobs can get stuck in the table so just uh, lure them properly okay okay there you go very easy they're just near each other the spawn time it's kind of short not that long okay but the goal here is to reach level 1350 okay there you go so after that Reaching 1,350, we can now go to the, uh, I think this is the second to the last island, yes. The Ice Castle. Here you go, this is the Ice Castle. So we're gonna skip a mob here. I think it's the Snow Lurkers. Let's check it out. First, don't forget to save. Yeah, Snow Lurkers. We're gonna focus on the Arctic Warriors at 1,350. You need to defeat 8, right? So you need to lure 4. There you go, make sure to lure them properly. Damage them with your Serpent's Wrath and finish them with your Poison Dagger or your Noxious Shot. You can also use your Toxic Fog. There you go. Two sets to finish one quest. The goal here is to reach level 1425. Okay? At 1400, you can start defeating the Awakened Ice Admiral. No problem with this. There you go. Awakened Form really has high damage. No, not a weekend form. Again, I keep on missing that. Just the transformation. Okay. The awakened one is the Ice Admiral. Sorry. Okay. Noxious Shot, Poison Dagger, Toxic Fog, etc. Go. Okay. Again, you can start defeating this at 1,400. But the goal again in this place is to reach 1,425. Oh, we got a library key. You can use this to open this door. This is where you can get the next step. Okay. Okay. So again, when you reach 1,425, but for me 1,430, I forgot the level. There you go. Okay. So at 1,425 for you, for me, don't forget to get damage for faster flight and serpent's wrath. We are heading towards our final island, the Forgotten Island. So Kaido's Island, if you know him. Okay. There. We're gonna start here with the Sea Soldier. Guys, we're gonna skip the next mob. Let's not talk about that. Again here, Sea Soldiers. There you go. Lure them with your Serpent's Wrath again or Toxic Fog just to make sure. Go and defeat them. Very easy, guys. Just use your Observation Hockey the whole time because this mobs carry some punch. <laughs> Check my HP. Okay, well anyway. Use your Serpent's Wrath, your combo, there you go. Again, the goal here is to reach level 1,500. But don't forget, at level 1,475, you can defeat the Tide Keeper to level up faster. Oh, you just need to transform and destroy him. That's it. <laughs> Best tip, right? Get the quest, get 1,475 level, destroy him using your transformation. So there you go. Okay, there you go, guys. We've reached level 1500, ready to go to the next world, talk to the NPC in the Coliseum. So now, we're heading towards the Coliseum, but make sure to finish the Coliseum quests when you need to defeat Swan Pirates, etc., and also defeat Swan. Okay, make sure to finish the those. So here you go, we're heading towards Coliseum. Here it is, talk to King Redhead and you will fight him. Okay, why admin? Blah blah blah. Let's fast forward this part, let us begin. So just half HP and that's enough for him to like activate something. Someone will come and someone will like smash this dude. There you go. Okay. Let's fast forward it. There you go. This is the part. Just do it yourself so that you can watch it and then you will get the mail we're in asking you to go to the green zone remember green zone there you go and here at the port talk to this mr captain and he will send you to the third sea so guys that's it for this video what do you think guys update 16 coming up right in two days i think i will be doing something so expect me to post on saturday again the update is on friday so guys, requests, comment in the comment section. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I appreciate you all. This is GamerNom.
and gamer and I'm out.